I thought I had two. Wanted 15 quid for it. 15 quid? Yeah, but I got it for 12. You were robbed. Oh, come on, Dad, it's not bad. And look, it's taxed at the end of the month. It'll never make it. Look at that tire. It's got a spare. on it. Try paraffin. Paraffin? About 40 gallons, all over it, and a match. Daddy, we're being polluted again. Well, they're moving. They've got to get rid of their rubbish. But don't they realise what they're doing to the environment? The whole atmosphere's been polluted and poisoned. I know, it's shocking. In 50 years' time, the Earth will be finished, uninhabitable. A whole atmosphere destroyed. But doesn't it worry you? Yes, yes, of course it worries me. Then do something. What can I do? Go next door and tell them. Tell them what? To put their bonfire out. No. Well, Miss Wentworth says that I if don't people... care what Miss Wentworth says. I'm not going to have a row with my neighbours just to please you and your biology mistress. Oh, that's typical of your generation. You don't care because you won't be here. But you're killing my generation. Mankind is doomed, Daddy. I am slowly being murdered. Well, come here, I'll hurry it up a bit. All right. If you won't go, I'll ask Mummy to go. Where is she? Now, where would your mother be on a Saturday afternoon? Well, I don't know, Betty. What do you think? <sighs> I don't know about fish. I know that stuffed birds are popular. That's not stuffed, love. Isn't it? It's plaster, not with a light. Well, I know that stuffed birds are worth it. Ah, more. birds. Birds is different, especially stuffed owls. That's not an owl, is it? That's a fish, and they ain't never stuffed. I mean, how could you stuff a fish? <laughs> no, I suppose you're right. Ah, it's plaster, love. Oh, well, thank you for telling us. <laughs> How much the attic, Reverend? <laughs> One pound. I'll give you ten bob. Very well, then. Jean, what do you think? Yeah. You mean for us? No, no, for my Trevor. How's it going? Hello, Trevor. You're just in time. Honestly, mate, I don't know how you'd manage without me. When's the shed coming? Next week. <laughs> I could do with a shed and all. Look, you can't get into our garage for clutter. Ours is the same. I don't know where it all comes from. I do. Bloody jumble sales. <laughs> Never mind. When Betty and Jean get their stall, perhaps we'll be able to get rid of some of it. Get their what? Their stall. They're looking for a stall in the market. You're joking. I am not. I'm surprised Jean hasn't told you about it. Not a word. Not a single word. I wonder why. Because she knows I won't stand for it, that's why. Look, there's no harm in it. I will not have my wife standing in the gutter flogging a load of rubbish off a batter. It's a stall, Sid. An indoor stall. They'll be selling antiques. Antiques? My Aunt Fanny antiques. What do they know about antiques? I'll take it. How much is this, love? Oh, I'm not sure about that, dear. But, uh, my daughter won't be long. She's just gone for a tea. Well, shove it on one side for me, will you? Yes, all right, dear. Here's your tea, Mother. Oh, thank you, dear. Thank you. Lovely. Here, hold this. Oh. <laughs> okay. How much is it? Fifty pence. I'll take it. Thank you. Where's my Jerry? I don't think I know him, madam. Is he in my pack? No, no, no. The pot. The chamber pot. Oh, it's been sold. I told that old girl to put it aside for me. That old girl, as you call her, happens to be my mother. Look, I don't care whose mother she is. She had no right to sell my pot. Madam, will you keep your voice down? Don't you madam me. I want my Poe. 
Yeah, we're not doing bad, are we? We'll soon have enough to start. And Annie next door's having a sort out. She says she'll give us some stuff. Ooh. Stuff? What stuff? Some stuff I promised Jean for her stall. Everybody seems to know about this but me. Well, take it off me, Sid. Uh, it's not definite, you know. She might not open one. Of course she will. I know Jean. She makes her mind up to do something she does it. Don't go. There's some more yet. I reckon Tom tried to burn it. I reckon Tom's a good judge. Yeah. Here we are, Sid. Oh. What is it? It's an elephant's foot. Where's the rest of him? Don't ask her. She might give it to you. Sid, there. Got I've got some more stuff. I've got some more stuff indoors. If you'd like to come in for it. Thank you very much. I'll tell her. Oh. Only we're... Oh. We're off on Monday. New people are coming in on Tuesday. You haven't met them yet, have you? No. What are they like? Oh, she's awfully sweet. You'll like her. What about him? Oh, he's all right. What does he do? He's his little servant or something. He's all right. You keep saying he's all right. What's wrong with him? Nothing. He's all right. Just a bit pompous. Pompous? Between you and me, Sid, he's a bit of a big head. He sounds lovely. I'm sorry we're going, really. Yeah, I am too. Anyway, you'll have to come down to Bournemouth and see us. We'll do that. I don't like the sound of that fella. No. I can't see him helping you with your concrete. <laughs> I've always got you, haven't I? <laughs> Sid! Sid, where are you? Over here. Oh, wait a minute. Sit down. Sid! No! Sit down. That's it. There we are. Hold that. Sit. Just a minute. There we are. What's the idea? Stay there till it sets. We'll use it for a garden now. <laughs> Who's this that? Bye, love. Can you manage? Bye, love. Bye, love. No, it's a gas. Well, of course, it needs a bit of work done on it. Yeah, I'm just going up the breakers yard to get a few spares. I'll pick you up on the way, right? OK, then, bye. Sid, who's is that dreadful car outside? It's mine. He's just bought it. Sid, he hasn't. Yes, he has. Well, why didn't you stop him? How could I stop him? I didn't know it was his till he turned up, innit? Well, you should have gone with him, looked at it. Well, I'm not having it stuck outside the house. It looks awful. Wait till you hear it. Where's he going in it? How do I know where he's going in it? Would you mind telling me what you intend doing with all this junk? It was a bargain. You think I don't know, don't you? Know what, dear? About this stall you think you're going to open. Who told you? Never mind who told me. I know. And I'm not having it, and that is final. There is no need to shout. We don't want the whole neighbourhood to know. The neighbourhood already knows. Contributions have been pouring in all day. They're emptying their dustbins for us. Look at this. Look at this mess. And you have got the cheek to complain about his banger. I suppose Trevor told you. I asked Betty not to say anything. It doesn't matter who told me. I know, and I'm not having it, and that is that. Just wait till I see that, Trevor. Here. Is this for me? Not if you're going to roll about in cement. Look, I didn't roll in it. I told you. I s slip. I don't understand it. Why does everybody else have to know and not me? Because I knew you'd make a fuss. You always do. But there's no need for you to go to work, is there? It's not work. It's just something to get me out of the house. And while you're out of the house, who's going to do the cooking? Well, you're not helpless. Look, it's only a couple of days a week. It's my hobby, Sid. Something for me to do. Now, what's wrong with that? It's degrading. How can it be degrading? I'm only selling things. You're a salesman yourself. You sell stationery. All day long you're selling uh, paper clips and drawing pins and, and... I never sell anything like that, do I? I cannot see any difference between that and a drawing pin. You would if you sat on one. Hello, 
Sally. Mr. Hobbs, don't burn that chair, please. You don't realize what it means to us all. Oh, I'm sorry. You have it by all means. I've got a pair of old boots, too. Mr. Hobbs, don't you realize what you're doing? The atmosphere will be polluted and poisoned. In 50 years' time, the Earth will be finished. No, there's no need to thank me, my dear. You have it. It's always been the same. Every idea I get you squash, you've squashed all the initiative out of me. All you want is a drudge. That's all you think of me as. Someone to, uh, to wash and iron and, and, and clean up after you all and, and cook. All right, open it. No wonder there's a woman's liberation movement. No wonder. For two pins, I'd join it myself. I said open it. Open what? That stall you're on about. You mean you don't mind? No. Oh, darling. Yeah, just, just a minute, providing you stop asking the neighbours for all their rubbish. I mean, it's humiliating, isn't it? They'll think we're paupers. Mr. Hobbs said you might get a few pence for this, Mummy. Oh, my God, look at that. Now, they'll be handing me down their old suits next. Well, he did say he had a pair of old boots. That's it. That does it. Where are you going? To tell him what he can do with his old boots. Well, of course, if you don't want them. Don't want them? <laughs> of course I want them. Come in. Well, I... No, no, I wasn't talking about these old I thought... boots. No, I, I was talking about Mike's boot. Mike's old boot? Yes, on his car, you know, it's in a shocking state, all rusty. But these, 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 these are lovely old boots. It's very kind of you, Annie. The cavalry boots. Yes? Mm, Tom's grandfather wore them at Balaclava. Balaclava? That old, eh? I uh, never guessed that uh, Balaclava uh, makes some sort of antiques, doesn't it? I mean, these could be very valuable, couldn't they? Oh, well, they come up beautifully when they're polished. Well, there's a job for Sid. There you are, dear. Thank you, darling. Yes, well, I'll... I'll give him a rub over. Yeah. And Sal, give me that while, while I'm at it. I'll, I'll see if I can fix the chair as well. Thank you very much. You're very kind. Oh, you're welcome. Ah. No, thanks. I've been. Sid. I've been looking it up in this book. It really is Georgian. Make a great flower pot. It was a bargain. Good. 200 years old and only 50 peas. Only 50 peas? They must have kept it in the way. I know it's Sunday, and we're entitled to a bit of a lie-in. Come back to bed, then. No, he spoils it. One of these days, I'm going to kill him if the neighbours don't get him first. What are you doing up? I have a great deal to do today. You kids amaze me. Every weekday, you've got to be blown out of bed with dynamite. On a Sunday, when you can have a lie-in, you're up at the crack. I can't waste time in bed whilst people are destroying our environment. Your brother's not exactly helping it with that car. It's not Mike's fault. You know he hasn't got much money. He's only got his student's grant. <laughs> Here we go again. When I was his age, believe oh, me... Oh, I know, Daddy. But that was a long time ago. People didn't have cars then. They used donkeys. Thank you. Anyway, he's giving me a lift. Where to? The Junior Anti-Pollution League. I'm on the executive committee. Oh, that's nice. Not, of course, that you'd be interested. Who said I wasn't interested? Even old twits can get polluted, you know. As a matter of fact, I'm very interested in the problems of our environment. Oh, good. Then come along to the meeting with me. Right. Uh, no, I can't today. I promised to help Trevor clear out his drains. Oh, I'm sure that's much more important. Two 
anti-pollution meeting. <laughs> When are you going to open the stall, then? We're seeing about it tomorrow. Thank God for that. Where's the sugar? Under there. Marvellous. Oh, it's only in here while Jean and Sid tidy up the garage. Five years in art college and he comes up with that. Well, it's not finished yet. How can you tell? Because he said so. <laughs> He's got to finish it today. It's fine, just, just a minute. Be careful what you do with that funnel. I thought it was for filling the lawnmower. No, the green one's for the lawnmower. This one is for my wine. I should be very glad when I get my shed up and I'm not having any of this rubbish in it. But it's your rubbish. Mine? What's mine in it? The lawnmower? It is not my lawnmower. It's the family lawnmower. You just happen to think it's mine because I'm the only one who cuts the grass. Well, what about all this wine? A few bottles of homemade wine. What else? Go on, what else? This isn't my rubbish. No, you've shoved all yours next door. Oh, blimey, look at the time. They'll be open in five minutes. Sid, you're supposed to be helping me tidy up. Yeah, well, when I get back. The pub won't run away, Sid. It'll still be there in half an hour. Yes, well, I have to see an Australian fella. I might get an order from him. See you later. Head out. Well, that can be slung out for a start. I said you can give me one of three cars. I'll have an E-Type Jag, a Bentley, or a Mercedes. Otherwise, you can stuff your job. You're right, mate. You've got to stand up for yourself. Have another beer. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'll get them. Alma, three large scotches. Oh, Sid, I've got something for you. It's exactly the same with our firm. They wanted me to open our Melbourne branch. And that more or less means taking over Australia. And you'd do well out there, Sid. Now, you're the sort of bloke they like. There you are. No good to us. I thought Jean might get a few bob for it. So my wife, she uh, collects for charity. Yes, Sid, uh, I understand. Alma, you got a bit of paper? No, no, I mean to wrap it up. Oh, good, blimey. The new people are supposed to be taking the stair carpet. It's no good to us in the bungalow. It's a nice carpet. Hmm? We're only asking £40 for it, and he's haggling over that. Well, what can you get for £40 nowadays? And that's what I told him. It's only been down 18 months. Hey, what's she like? Oh, she's nice enough. It's him I can't stick. Ugh. Come on. <laughs> Is there anything else you don't want? Uh, oh, we're not taking that. If you have any use for it. Oh, yes. How much do you pay for it? Oh, you can have it. We've no room for it. And I'm not leaving it for them. Here, hold this. I need a screwdriver. It's pretty well fixed in. I'll get Sid to help me after dinner. There's no hurry, Sid. Eh? Right. I said there's no hurry. No hurry for what? To get the overmantel from next door. We can get it when you're ready. I was fast asleep. Well, that's all right. There's no hurry. Good. Only I'd like to get it this afternoon. Oh, God, blimey. Come on, then. Oh, Sid, wait till I've done the washing up. just gone in. Give me a shout when they come out again. Mr. And Mrs. Bain still come in. Hello, Mrs. Hobbs. Hello. Uh, we've decided to take the stair carpet. Good. Uh, now, what did we settle on? Forty pounds. I seem to remember your husband saying thirty-seven fifty. When? After I found that cigarette burn in it. There we are. 
You'd better see my husband. I'll call him. Tom! Can you come oh. in a minute? Coming, dear. All right, then. I shall, of course, be having most of these out. Oh, but they have lovely blooms on them. Covered in green fly. Red spider. Alive with it. Do you spray them? No. You should have done. It's the only way to control pests. I'm a great believer in spraying. <laughs> Yes. Turn it off! It's not on. It was an accident. Oh, they wouldn't do it deliberately. They're not like that. Oh, I'm sure they'll be in in a minute to apologise. Well, of course, you know them, whereas I do not. <laughs> Get your hand out. water all over him. Yes. Well, I think so. Well, I may not have actually said I was sorry, because, I mean, it was his fault. And Miss Wentworth says that if... Sally, only... I've heard quite enough about Miss Wentworth. Ever since you've been in her class, there's been nothing but trouble. Well, Mummy, you told me to take biology. Oh, well, yes, I know, dear. But when I did biology, it was nice. We didn't go around squirting hoses at people. All we did was cut up frogs. <laughs> Yes? Don't forget we've got to get that overmantle this evening. As soon as I get back from work. Oh, and Sid? Yes? We're going to see about the store this morning. Good. Bye now. Bye. Mind how you go? Yes, all right. Bye-bye, Sid. 
Ta da! We'll come and see you soon. You do that and see it. Yes. Don't forget the overmantel. No, no, no. I don't want them having it. No, no, all right. These are the two lovely young ladies who were taken over that vacant store. Mm. Later. Well, now, it's uh, it's six quid a week in advance, and you can move your stuff in whenever you like. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to the family. She's uh, she's had a little bother, you know. One of the other ladies stole her best customer. Oh, really? It, it caused bad feeling, you see, dear, and we like to avoid bad feeling. I want us to be all one big, happy family. <laughs> you, uh, you married, are you, dear? Oh, yes. We're both very happily married. We'd, uh, we'd better pay you, hadn't we? Before we forget. Yes, yeah, thanks. And, uh, listen, if uh, one week you find you can't manage it, just come and see me. I'm very understanding, you know. I'm sure we can arrange something. <laughs> I've seen you before somewhere. At a jumble sale. Oh, that's right. Yes, you was after him, wasn't you? <laughs> Yes, you told us he wasn't worth a light. Well, I didn't know he was in the trade, dear, did I? You should have said. Well, anyway, we're not going to row over a blinking old stuffed addock, are we? Have a cup of tea. All right, thanks. Have you met the landlord? You mean Mr Oldham? Yeah, and you want to hold him when he's around. Well, Sal, that's the end of college, unless I fail my finals. When will you know? Well, for a couple of months. I'm going to get a job anyway. Teaching? How can I get a job teaching? It's the summer holidays. Knit. I've forgotten. We don't break up till Thursday. Where's Mum and Dad? Next door. <coughs> <coughs> they didn't mean this to come down in a hurry. Look at that. Another half inch, we could hang our hats on it next door. Must have been up here for years. I think it's holding the house up. Loose. Now, just let me take the weight. Hang on. Slowly. Slowly. Oh, I can't hold All right, it. Leave it to me. I've got it. Put it down. Mind your feet. Actually. Oh. When did you say they were moving in? Tomorrow. Oh, Sid, what are we going to do? Let's put it back again. No! And he doesn't want them to have it. Very, very urgent. Next week, mate. No, no, no. Next week is no good. It's got to be done tonight. Nah. It's a simple plastering job. Sorry. Go, blimey, I can do it myself. You'll have to do it yourself, mate. All right, I will. Good luck. And you. Try someone else. There is nobody else. I've tried every builder in the book. Perhaps Trevor knows somebody. That's it. That's it, Trevor's brother-in-law. That's the idea, mate. Not too sloppy. Keep it well turned over. <sighs> Don't stop him while he's working. God, look at that wind. Are you quite sure this will set by the morning? Oh, it'll set all right. We was on one of them new housing estates. They'll be having it wallpaper by then. We'll be having it wallpapered here and all. Huh. We're off. I'll get this done in ten minutes. Oh, Ralph, it's a red hot plaster, Sid. I'm only happy we found him at home. Another five seconds and you wouldn't. I was going out to do another job at Wembley. Oh, Mr. Murray, your wife's on the telephone. Something about a roof at Wembley. Oh, my God. It's come off. What is? The roof at Wembley. It's the wind. I knew it'd happen. Here, I'll have to get down here right away. Wait a minute, what about this wall? Oh, it'll be all right. Look, I'll be right back. You keep turning the copper over and keep it damp. Oh, Mr. Murray! Hey, this is a very urgent job. It's got to be done by morning. Don't worry, Sid. He'll be back. <laughs> At least we know it doesn't take long to set. What's the time? Ten o'clock. I knew it. I knew it. How could he possibly go somewhere and put a roof on and get back here the same night? Sid, it was the tarpaulin that came off. In this weather, it could have gone all together. And he's gone with it. Sid, don't worry. He'll be back. How do you know? He hasn't finished his beer. Well, I'm not waiting for him. 
could we do? I'll show you. Yeah. Who needs plasterers? Look at that. Smashing Sid. A great job. And look at that. Five o'clock. Can't be bad. Only took us seven hours. Hey, great. Here, what are we going to do with all this lot? Bury it in the garden. Okay. Just a minute. Thank you. Oh, God, no wonder he lost his tarpaulin. It's a way of doing it. That doesn't matter. It's the wrong colour. I know. That's why I bought the emulsion paint. Dropping Sally off at school, Mum. There's nothing we can do with that. No, thank you, dear. Might I you go? Bye. Just give us a few minutes to set. All right. We'll tidy up. All right. I imagine is the handbrake. Oh, yes. Sorry. Now try. It might help if you steered straight. Did what? Has his steering gone? I don't know if it's the steering or him. My God, it's falling to bits. Hurry up, Sid. That's lovely. Right. But turn it over. No, no, no. Just leave it. Leave it. Right, Sally, grab onto that. Quick. That's it. Give me some more play. Nobody. No 
nobody. Yes, you see, what happened was... Yeah, all right, all right, all right, never mind. Tell us later. Here, open the tin of paint. Very nasty. Right then, who's the driver of this vehicle? Nobody. You was driving it. Not when I hit that car, I wasn't. Who was driving then? And who are you? Ah, uh, we're from next door. And what are you doing here? Yes. Ah, uh, well, we've uh, we've come to help you. Help me? Yes. Help you move in. Put up the curtain rails and pictures. Yes, do a bit of painting. Or wallpapering. Or fix the carpets or... That's most kind of you, but I'm sure we shall manage. We're very well organised. Oh, well, in that case, we'll go. This man came into my house and pulled the wall down. No, no, no. I was repairing it. Never mind about that. Who was driving this car? I was not driving it. I was steering it. Abbott? Yes? Yeah? Got a shed for you. Oh, my God. Next door. This car's not fit to be on the road. It was all right before he bashed it up. Take no notice of anything this young man says, Sergeant. He's not all there. Not all there? This is my son. That does not surprise me in the least. It's all right, everyone. I'm back. I don't know if I should go out there or not. I wouldn't, Mummy. It's complicated enough already. You will, of course, send your account next door. I don't mind where it goes, Gov. So long as it's paid. I am absolutely whacked. Do you realise I haven't slept all night? I've put up enough plaster to cover the houses of the Parliament. I've had to pay out for fixing that wall next door. I've got a shoe full of paste. And any minute now, we're going to break out in civil war with that fellow next door. Oh, dear. Ooh. Where are you going? Ooh. 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 I've cleaned it all. Hasn't it come up nicely? It's all this great, monstrous, bloody thing's fault. Yes, I know, dear, but it was worth it. Sid! Oh, that's lovely, Jean. But if anybody buys it, I don't know where we'll put anything. <laughs> Hello, darling. Hello, Mum. There we are. Now, Dad's going to bring the rest because I'm going off for an interview. Oh, all right, dear. Good luck. Oh, yes, I'll need it. With all the students being home, you're lucky if you can find a job anywhere. Bye-bye, Mum. Bye, dear. Like it? Oh, it's lovely, Dad. Hello, darling. Hello, Mum. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's a lovely garden. Yes, dear, isn't it? What are the neighbours like? Of course, the house isn't quite straight yet. No, I said, what are the neighbours like? Come and have a look upstairs, Kate. Why? They're not upstairs, are they? Who, oh, dear? The neighbours. She might as well know. She'll find out soon enough. The ones on that side are absolutely appalling. Especially that boy, mind you. He's not all there, you know. Why? What does he do? Nothing. Doesn't seem to work at all. Just loafs about all day pulling old cars to bits. He's a layabout. Well, we don't really know that, dear. He might be a student like Kate. Student by foot. The boy's an idiot. Any idiot can do it. All the grubbers in here. Ready, Coot. All you have to do is warm it up in here. Apart from eggs and hamburgers. Um, what about eggs and hamburgers? I'll show you. You fry them on hot plate. Now, every two hours, you change the music on tape recorder. Anything else? Yes. Look, if you've got no else to do, wash your hands. Now, the customers always like to see it. It shows cleanliness. Yeah, well, the plumbing's up the spout again, but look, never mind. You just mech out as though you're washing them like this. <laughs> now, then, you got it? Yes, I think right. so. Right. Oh, um, is there a staff room? A staff room? Yes, you know, a thing with a... Oh, no, no, no. But there's one at Bubbup Road, and we allow you six minutes, and that includes two minutes to get there and two to get back. 
Right, get that lot on. Come on, mate. Must be having you. Oh, it's time we were opening. Come on. Slavery being a cook. Slavery. I'm glad you realise it. Do you good? When I was your age, mate, I... We, we worked work from, from six, six in the morning till ten at night. night. Very comical. What time do you start? Half past nine. Good. Just give me time to help me put that roofing felt on the shed. Haven't you got any calls this morning? No, half past ten. Where's Sally got to? Her breakfast getting all grizzled up. She's on the phone. She's always on the phone. Well, Moira, you have to make the decision. Which is more important? Saving the world from pollution? Or going out shopping with your mother. Mum says your breakfast is getting grizzled up. I'll be in in ten seconds. You have exactly ten seconds to decide, Moira. But remember, the action committee are depending on you. Sally, do you want your breakfast or don't you? Yes, I'm coming, Mummy. Well, Moira, are you with us or aren't you? Right, 10.15. I make it 10.14. It's 10.15, Sally. I'm not waiting any longer. Here she is now. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm late in my mother's that I All have... All right, help it. Anything for a laugh? <laughs> Won't affect the order, will it? What order? moment. You stick to your property, I'll stick to mine. Liz, I say, Liz. Carol, just a minute. What? The lady ordered Alibaba apple pie, but you brought her Mississippi angel cake. So what? But she doesn't want it, that's what. Right. Well, you have it. 
used up the labour exchange. Must you get a job right away, dear? You've only just got home. I need the cash, Mum. What'll you do? Oh, anything. It's only for a few weeks. Fine. What'd you say your name was? Kate. Ah, welcome to the galley, Kate. Thank you. Take my advice. Whatever you do, don't eat the food here. I've already decided that. Wise girl. <laughs> Tea, Sid? Thank you. I went to another jumble sale. There wasn't much there. Good. I bought you a nice hat for two bob. It's a Panama hat. Thank you, but I do not want a Panama hat. There are many things in this world I do want, and a Panama hat is not one of them. I thought you could wear it in the garden. Oh, Sid, she said she was sorry. Sorry? Sorry? I nearly lost that order. Could have cost me 300 quid. Well, she didn't know. All right, say it. I'm the cause of the row. Sally, go back to your room. Just because I stand up for what I believe in, just because I stand up for what's right, just because I stand up... If I up... have any more of that, you'll stand up, all right? You'll stand up because you won't be able to sit down. Go on, then. Hit me. Hit me. That's all your generation understands. Physical violence. Oh, God, I mean, what's the use? I'm going to go mow the lawn. Would it do you good in the garden? You can wear your new hat. Such confidence. Oi! You have got my hat on. You are very mistaken. I have got my hat on. Where's mine then? I've no idea. It was hanging on this tree. So was mine. Stolen my hat! Give it back! Oi, poe face! You're a crook, a thief, that's what you are! Sid! What are you doing? He has stolen my hat. Stolen your hat? Yes. Why well, didn't think you liked it? That is not the point. Excuse me. You did what? I gave it to the jumble sale. Well, you never liked it. But that is not the point. How did he get it? I suppose he bought it at the jumble sale. It was at the local church. Oh, my God, that's him. Oh, good. Well, you can give it back and apologise. Certainly not. Ronald! Give me that hat back! It's his property now. I don't care, Vera. I will not apologise to him. All right. Shove it up your Panama Canal. What happened? I told him he could keep it.
My feet are killing me. I wonder if the last bus has gone. I can give you a lift if you like. Now that's a very welcome offer. Where'd you live? Oh, not far. Ah, I know a shortcut across the common. Oh, do you now? Well, um, I don't happen to live that way. Okay, well, we'll uh, go across the common first and uh, then you can direct me from there. You see, they've loaded all the junk down here. Yeah, Jim, put that in when I wasn't looking. It won't happen again, I promise you. Here, look at this, Sid. Ye wine making and ye whiskey making. Jim bought that for me at the sale. I haven't had a chance to look at it yet. Oh, it's an old book, mate. Publift 1806. Your teeth playing you up? No. Oh, no, no, no. It, it, it's, it's, it's a printing, the old fashioned printing. Here's a drawing of Island Pot still. Very interesting. <laughs> Anyone can make a still, there's nothing to it. Yeah, well, why don't they? Because making whiskey's illegal, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose it is. Mind you, I suppose it's only illegal under certain conditions. What conditions? If they find out about it. <laughs> yeah, you, you'd have to be careful where you did it. Um, if you did it. Yeah. You want somewhere quiet and out of the way. Where the wife wouldn't find out. Exactly. What would you say, Sid? Why not? <laughs> oh, so this is what they teach you at art college, is it? Oh, yeah. We, we have to study anatomy. Well, you studied quite enough for one night. What's the matter? You know quite well. No, I don't. Now, stop it. I'm not doing anything. What? <laughs> What's the matter? Um, well, it's gone to sleep. Yes, and it's time I joined it. Come on. Well, we don't have to go yet. It's not late. Yes, it is. They'll wonder what's happened to me. Where'd you live? Whitby Avenue. But so do I. We live at number 84. But you can't, Mike. We live at number 86. We've just moved in. <laughs> If she isn't home soon, I shall go out and look for her. Oh, do stop fussing, dear. Perhaps she's met a boy. Oh, don't talk nonsense, Vera. What sort of boy could she meet in a place like that? Well, she did say something about the cook being rather nice. The cook? Oh, he's not a real cook. He's a student of some kind. No, it's my father's fault. No, Mike, it's mine. I'm sure of it. Well, anyway, the way things are, it might be as well not to say anything for a while. Perhaps you're right. And when we're not working, we can always meet in secret up the end of the garden. Sort for Trevor. It's as good as you come out of the house at Wembley. What's he want it for? It's a hot water tank. But we've got one. Oh, yeah. Could you have? I put it in myself, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, perhaps he wants another one. <laughs> it's only two quid. There's no hurry. Well, oh, I can't stop now, love. I've got to get to the house and eat in and the water's pouring in and the old family are drowned if I don't get there quick. I'll see ya. Oh, what on earth does he want it for? For making wine in. Doesn't that make the wine taste funny? No, no, no. It's what they call the Costa Brava method. Do you remember we spent a week out there? Well, one of those Spanish waiters told me they always make their wine in copper hot water tanks. No wonder we could never get a bath. He's at this again. Every Sunday morning. Well, he has got the silencer fixed. Well, all he has got fixed. Well, now that he's working, he doesn't have much chance. I, uh, I suppose you wouldn't like to look at it for him. Yeah, I'll look at it for him. With a sledgehammer. Here you are, Dad. Thank you, Kate. 
Here's the girl from the cafe. Mike! Mike! What? I've seen her! Oh! Seen who? Kate! Mike, she can't really be their daughter, can she? Yes, she is. Now, if you say a word, I'll kill you. Oh, I won't say anything. I quite like her. But what'll happen when Daddy finds out? None of his business. I'm not frightened of Dad. What about her, Dad? Ah, yes. Well, we'll, uh, deal with that when we come to it. Oh! That's it. Here you are, Sid. Yeah. yeah. Well, it all works theoretically. Yes, provided we get enough heat out of these two immersion eaters. Yeah, but with no thermostats on, it's just going to get hotter and hotter, isn't it? Well, it should do. Yeah, turning the barley water into steam, which goes through the coils where the cold water condenses it into whiskey. I mean, that's it, isn't it, theoretically? Yeah, theoretically. Well, won't that we try, will we? No. I mean, after all, what can happen? It can bloody blow up, mate. That's what can happen. Look, Sid, we don't have to stay in here with it, do we? You're right. We can switch it off in the garage. We'll give it half an hour, see what happens. Right, right? Yeah. That Two, five, four, three. Could I speak to Miss Kate Baines, please? I'm sorry, who do you wish to speak to? Miss Kate Baines? Kate? Oh, Kate, yes. Who is this speaking? This is one of her colleagues from the Quick Snack Cafe. Um, it's urgent. Just one moment. It's for you. Who is it? One of your colleagues from that cafe. She says it's urgent. Urgent? What can they want with urgent? Well, she sounded as if she were being strangled. Hello? Are you free to talk? Yes. Who is it? This is Mike's sister, Sally. But don't worry, I'm on your side. Oh. Yes. Is anything wrong? No. Mike says he's got the car fixed, and can you meet him in Montrose Avenue at two? Yes, OK. Is he there? Well, no. He's still working on the car, but it will be fixed by two. All right, then. Bye. Bye-bye. And don't worry, you can rely on me. I shan't let you down. How long do you make it? 25 minutes. That's what I make it. All right. Leave it to us. We'll hang it up for you. Do what? Hang it up for you. It's the washing. We're not doing anything, are we, Trev? No. Well, if you're not doing anything, could you look at the washing machine? Yes, well, uh, we'll, we'll do it after. After what? After we hang up the washing. There you are, then. Yes, well, uh, we'll do it in a minute. Why can't you do it now? No reason, really. machine the water doesn't run into it properly and if it heats up with no water in it then the man says it can blow up Sid huh? we didn't put any barley water in it I know water Is this yours? No. Then would you mind telling me where it came from? Perhaps it fell off a zeppelin. I'm off, Mum. You look very nice, dear. Who is it? Oh, just 
a boy I know. Is it that student from the cafe? Yes. Why don't you ask him round? Oh, well, perhaps I will one day. Bye. Where shall it be? Where do you like? How about, uh, Brighton? Brighton? Will you make it? My dear girl, this car has been to Afghanistan and back. Oh. Oh. Sid, hmm? I've never heard of boiling up wine to make it ferment quicker. I keep telling you, it wasn't supposed to boil. The immersion heater went wrong. But you hadn't got any wine in the tank. There's something else that went wrong and all. Trevor thought I'd filled it, and I thought he'd filled it. Sid, mm. if you boil wine up, doesn't it turn into brandy? Pardon? Brandy. I hadn't thought of that. Well, in my opinion, if you take some wine and you put Who it into the... Who the hell can that be? Oh, Mike's not in yet. I hope he's all right. Yes, I've tried that as well, Dad, but it still won't work. Have you, have you got enough to ring your mum? Just about. All right. Where are you? We're on the A23, just outside Brighton. Brighton? Just outside. How did he get to Brighton? God knows, in that thing. Can't he find a garage? He only had ten pence and he used that to phone us. How's he going to get home? How do you think? No, I'm not worried, dear. As long as I know you're all right. When will you be in? Well, what's happened to her? The car's broken down. Yes, dear. Whose car? Uh, that boy from the cafe, the student. I thought he was a cook. No. All right, dear. We won't wait up for you. Let me speak to her. Hello? Hello? Hello, Kate. The pips have gone. You may go to bed if you want to, Vera. I intend to see this student cook when he brings her home. If he ever does bring her home. Is it? Nearly five. Oh, not much on the road. It should be here in a minute. Mike? Yeah? Why don't we tell him? Tell him what? About us. Oh, not now. Let's wait until he's in a good mood, eh? How do you do? Uh, I'm awfully sorry you had to come out. Think nothing of it. Did you bring the tow rope? Would you like to get out now too, love? Oh. But does she have to? It's pouring with rain. If she wants to get home, yes. But if you're towing me... I am not towing that thing in this kind of weather. But I can't leave it. I can. I won't leave it. Stay in it. I'll forward your mail. Where does Kate live? Oh, uh, not far from you. If you just drop me at this corner. you're with. D did he bring you home? Yes, of course, Dad. But he's gone now. Good night. Oh, God. What's she like? Who? The girl. How do I know? You must have seen her. Hey, oh, yeah. Well, she seemed all right. I didn't take much notice. She must be the one from the cafe. Yeah, probably. Mike seems very fond of her. Hmm. wonder why he doesn't bring her home. Hmm. What did you say, darling? I couldn't hear you.
Right, that's it. Let's turn her off. Sid? Yeah? In the garage. Hey? Oh, yeah. We'll give her a few minutes to cool off, right? Right. Pure brandy. Pure rhubarb brandy. Sid, I don't suppose anyone's ever made rhubarb brandy before. Well, if they have, I've never known about it. It's bottled it quick. Here, look at that. That's it. Could you turn it off, Sid? Gentlemen! Yeah, well, it hasn't matured yet, has it? No. Soda. I don't know what it was, but it's marvellous. It took four coats of paint off in no time. Oh, ask him to get some for me, would you? All right. How much is that? The fish? And no, the figure. Oh, only I get a very big call on fish. Fifteen. Oh, no thanks. Hello. What is this? Ten. You live next door, don't you? Yes, that's right. All right. Seven. Oh, no, I couldn't. I mean, are you sure? Special price for neighbours. Oh, thanks. You must come in sometime and have a cup of tea. I'd love to. She seems awfully nice. Yes, possibly she is. But for heaven's sake, don't get friendly with them. We don't want them in here. Ronald, dear, I shall be friendly with whom I please. Well, all right. So long as you don't bring him in here. Oh, that ghastly son of theirs. Haven't seen him lately, have you? No. Probably in prison. Double egg and chips. I love you. Double cheeseburger and chips. I love you too. She's out with him every night and we still haven't seen him. If you ask me, there's something fishy about him. He's probably married. Well, you could always go along to the cafe and take a look at him. Now, that villa is a very good idea. Where's that row coming from? Oh, it's next door. I think they're having a party. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't eat the flesh of animal corpses. Sorry. No record down there. I had to come up here for a couple of minutes. I don't blame you. It's only just started. Oh, blimey. Look, why don't we go out for a snack? Sally won't mind, will she? Mine? She won't even notice we've gone. Right. Let's go to that place where Mike works and you can have a look at his girlfriend. All right, then. Who's that? 
That's the, uh, the short order cook. Yes, he is, isn't he? What's up with you then? Uh, cramp. Cramp? Yes, I in my legs. I um, often get it and then they give way on me. Try standing up. Oh, no, I can't. I, I lie down. If I lie down, it, uh, it goes. Yeah, the last fella had hay fever and he kept sneezing over all the hamburgers. Give us your hat. Uh, oh! Lie over there, out of the road. Alabama chicken and chips, two cheeseburgers and a woofer. Woofer? Hot dog. That can't be him, can it? Ask her. That's not him, is it? The student? Oh, no. He's the boss. He's relieving him. Are you any better? Oh, no. Worse! Oh, bloody hell. You don't mind if we should hear, do you? Not in the least. We're leaving. But Ronald, we haven't eaten yet. All the more reason to leave. I can't see Mike, can you? I'll go and have a look. Are you looking for someone? Yes, our son. He's working here, but only during the holidays. He's a student. <coughs> What's happened to him? Crump. What are you doing about it? It's all right, Dad. What's wrong with him? Crump. Would you get back to your tables, please? No, I wish to see him. Are you a doctor? No, of course not. What the hell's he got to do with you, then? Hang on. Just hang on a minute. He might know something about first aid. I'm not here to assist him. I'm here to warn him. Warn him? He is not to see my daughter again. Your daughter? I didn't know you had a daughter. Oh, please don't make a fuss, Daddy. How could you do this to us? How? Get out of it, the lot of you! Is this his daughter? Yes, but it's none of your business. It is my business, and I'm trying to run it. You get back to that cash desk. Don't you dare speak to my daughter like that. I'll speak how I bloody like. <laughs> Sorry, it was, um, it was an accident. Look, 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 look. Now then, now then. Give over, you bloody baby. Give over. Hang on, wait a minute. Now, cut it out. Now, don't do that. Get me a clock. Right. Dear, do you think we should do something? No. Let's keep out of it. away with it we should never have been arrested no exactly i still think we could sue them for wrongful arrest of course we could but that's not bother no we still got this other business to sort out your son and kate yes then let's pop inside and discuss it shall we that's a very good idea ron ronald sydney call me ronald <laughs> And so, after a long discussion, Sidney and I have decided we have no objection to you becoming engaged to Michael. Unofficially, of course. And then, after a year or so, if you still decide you want to go through with it... Yes, dear, it's in August. What is? The wedding. Pity it won't be ready for the wedding. <laughs> we are not touching a drop of that until it's matured. You saw what it did to the varnish? Yeah. Ah, Sydney. Hello, Rick. Ronald. Yes, Ronald. I came to see about him. I can smell it again. Smell what? Distillery fumes. Get away. 
Well, perhaps they've opened a new distillery round here somewhere. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. If they were, I'd soon know about it. It's my job to know. What is it you do exactly? I know you're some kind of civil servant. Customs and excise. I'm a collector. It's my job to collect all the duty payable on tobacco and, um, and spirits. Must be very interesting. Yes, actually, I came to see about the wedding. Yeah, well, why don't we go in the house and talk about it right away? Yes, the point is, I think it should be formal. Formal, definitely formal, by all means. Come on. I look like a right twit. With well, the car's here. It's all right, we've got plenty of time. Where's Mike? Probably outside looking at his wedding present. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, Jean, now, if you'd like to go in the car with the bridesmaids... But it's all right. Sid will take his car. No, 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 no. We've ample room in the hire cars. Oh, God. What are you up to? You get filthy. The battery's flat. You're getting married in half an hour. I still need the car for the honeymoon. Go on, go on. There were definitely four cars ordered. Where's it got to? Now then, Kate, to avoid seeing the bridegroom, stay in the house until all the rest are gone. I shall be in the car waiting for you, and the driver will sound his horn twice. Yes, yes. Sid, yeah. you dismantled it, yeah? Now, what chance have I had? Yeah, but supposing he finds out. Will you stop worrying? He wouldn't nick his daughter's father-in-law, would he? Ah, wouldn't he? He would. Ronald, one of the cars has broken down. Oh, that's ridiculous. Hire cars don't break down. But this one has. They're trying to send us another. With recent time. Let me speak to them. Hello? This is disgraceful. Absolutely disgraceful. I could think of no other word for it. Hello? Hello? It's my roof. No, 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 no. I'll take three of them and Jean. No, no, I've organised Jean. She's going with Vera. All right, I'll take Trevor. No, wait. Supposing Trevor takes Mike's car. Trevor can't drive. So supposing he takes my place in the bridegroom's car and Jean can take three of them in Mike's car. Ah, good. I knew we'd get it organised. Uh, come on, Mike, get in. Uh, girls and Vera. Come, come. Mike. Um, hi. <laughs> You should have gone in that one. Well, what'll I do? Get in the end one. This one? The end uh, one. Yeah. Go on, get in. Here, wait for me. Here, hold it right down. Go on. No, no, no. In here. Get in. All right, off you go. Sid, it won't start. Of course it won't start. He's taking the battery out. You take mine. I'll see if I can start this one. Come on, quick. Come on, Auntie. What's wrong? The battery's on charge in the garage. Then let's get it. Yes, come on. Yes? Don't worry about Trevor and me. I've rung for a taxi. Trevor's gone. You can come with us. He must have gone in one of the others. Sit down with you get in here. Oh, well, as long as he gets there. Get a rag or something to carry it. Huh? That's it. And it could set the fence on fire. The house could go. I'll get the house. But if he didn't come with you, where is he? I don't know. Well, they were coming in Mike's car. Perhaps they couldn't start it. I'll go and ring up. Oh, 
brought you on. How I see! Come back too close, you might explode again. What might? The brand new, the paint stripper, the chest full of paint stripper. Tell Kate not to worry. Where is she? In the living room. Right, hold that. houses from the vestry. There's no answer, so they must have left. Don't worry, dear. They'll get here. Don't worry. Who hasn't turned up then? The bridegroom? The bride's father. Well, he don't matter as long as the bridegroom's here. <laughs> Says unless we can start right away, you'll have to postpone it. We have another wedding at 11, and we have a funeral at half past. We are not postponing it. But you can't get married without your father. He's giving you away. Then somebody else can do it. I'd be happy to do it. Most happy. But Kate, you can't. It must be your father. I don't care who gives me away. As long as I get married, please tell them we're ready. Just like her father. Kate and the car's gone. But nonsense, she couldn't go without me. Stop giving her away. Well, don't worry about it. The fire brigade's there. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> 